this rich. Well, they are. You know why? Because the but left because is a, they're not. No, no because the they're not. The left is a scam. The left uses. How is this? Let me tell you why. It's a good question, actually. The left uses people like you that think that oh, we're gonna fight the rich. Well, they protect their oligarchy. While you guys have to keep on working hard and never own anything, when we conservatives are the ones that actually want to restore the American middle class and bring jobs back to this country. How would you restore? Hold, let me finish. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're checking out. Brainwashed college students get his eyes opened to the left's deception. This is by Charlie Cook. I'm pronouncing it as Charlie Kick. So, you love kicking us? So, pardon me with that. <laughs> Let's get right into this video. You create a company that's like, like close to being a fascist and then like... Okay. Uh, How am I... Sorry. Let, let's go through this. How am I a fascist? Dude, like you... Can you, can you name one thing I believe that's fascist? Um, you believe that like... You are... Oh, shit. It's confused. But I'm I just such a okay. bad fascist. I let the people who disagree just, and open mic to talk to me for two hours uninterrupted. Just, okay, I'm okay. an awful fascist. I'm more like a free speech liberal the 1970s, not a fascist. But I just want to say, Turning Point USA is a evil company that was funded by thousands of fracking companies, and that well, just. You know, it's, it's not thousands, but we do have some frackers that give us money. But we yeah, have, and then we, we all have, all it is is making the rich from more fascist. rich. Fascism to fracking. That's but, all it is. That's but, all it is. Okay, again, I'm happy to have a debate. I can see you're getting kind of fired up. I'm sorry. So, but what, why why are we evil? Like we're we're having a nice discussion. Because all of a sudden you you're, want, I you're calling me because like a it seems like you just want the rich get even more rich. Like we we haven't talked about the rich at all. I mean, so. Do you, you don't even know my positions on this stuff at all. And by the way, Dude, just so we're clear, the wealthiest counties in the country all vote for Democrats. You know that, right? Eight out of ten of the wealthiest counties in the country vote for Democrats. The wealthiest people absent Elon Musk are all on the left. Jeff Bezos, George Soros, Mark Benioff, Mark Elon Zuckerberg, Lorraine Powell Jobs. On the left, yes. The richer you are, the more likely you are to be a Democrat and on the left. Explain that to me, please. The numbers speak for itself. The Democrats are the party of the oligarchy. Hmm. Can you name one tech CEO outside of Elon Musk that is a conservative? Um, I personally think. Let me think. Peter Thiel. Yeah, that's one. That's one. Um, Larry Page, Google, on the left, worth 120 billion dollars. Sergey Brin, Google, 130 billion dollars on the left. If, Lorraine, okay, Lorraine if Powell Jobs, Mackenzie Bezos, Jeff Bezos. If they're on the left, what has they done that was like quote unquote to? Do the left stuff. Well, okay, so Larry Page gives money to left-wing NGOs all the time. Like, if you're on the left, I don't think you will ever be this rich. Well, they are. You know why? Because the but left because is a, they're not. No, no, because the they're not. The left is a scam. The left uses How is this? Let me tell you why. It's a good question, actually. The left uses people like you that think that, oh, we're going to fight the rich. Well, they protect their oligarchy. Hmm. While you guys have to keep on working hard and never own anything, when we conservatives are the ones that actually want to restore the American middle class and bring jobs back to this country. How would you restore? Hold, hold, let me finish. Let me finish. The, the left uses people like you every day, and they use people on you by the trans thing, the abortion thing. Keep voting for us because the fascists are going to take your rights away. When who's funding the left? The richest people. George Soros. Do you know rich George Soros is? Who is funding? Dude, I have never seen okay. a leftist Again. organization come to campus spreading their propagandas. Well, because the whole university is a leftist organization no, it's spreading not. propaganda. No, it's not. It's liberal. Left, there's a, there yeah, is but, a clear-cut difference but, between but a it, leftist and a liberal. Please you're, make you're that coming right. after this in a good way because I'll just say Democrat politics, okay? Okay. Almost every major powerful wealthy person in the country over $100 billion in net worth, with the exception of one person, Elon Musk, is on the cultural left and gives money to the left. Mark Zuckerberg gave $400 million in the 2020 election to help get Joe Biden reelected through the Center for Technology and Civic Life. Mackenzie Bezos. That helps his case, obviously. Hold he on. would donate money to his... Oh, okay, but hold on. What, what, but, wait, one second. M Mackenzie Bezos with $45 billion, major Biden backer. Lorene Powell Jobs were $20 billion. Steve Jobs' widow, one of the most radical left-wingers in the Emerson Collective. Mark Benioff from Salesforce worth $12 billion. One of the most radical left-wing guys that you'll see out there. Um, the, 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 uh, e the eBay guy, um, uh, uh, o Omidor, one radical left-wing. It's so important for you on the left. You guys are being scammed and gamed. 
because they talk a good game about building the middle class, but it is not the party of democracy. It's the party of oligarchy. And you can go fact check me tonight. Okay. And you might actually have cognitive dissonance. Type in this. Wealthiest counties in the country. They almost all vote for Joe Biden. Who gives the most political donations to the left? All the wealthy people. Go look up the top billionaires on the Forbes list. The Forbes list. The top 100. Only about 10 of them give the Republican. The other 80 give the Democrat. The other 10 don't give at all. It is mind-blowing when you realize the shift in power the last 10 years. Hmm. Republicans used to be the party of the rich. You know what changed? We nominated a class trader as our nominee, Donald Trump. As soon as Donald Trump became our nominee, all the billionaires said, we don't want him anymore. He talks about things we don't like. He wants to end the wars, close the border, bring jobs back to this country. We want to keep on supporting a political party that doesn't want any of that stuff. Explain to me how Joe Biden represents the working class in this country. He doesn't. He, it's he very much supports the unions. It's a so. Oh, hold on a second. The union or the union bosses? The Big difference. The union bosses supporting the rank and file love Trump. The UAW love Trump more than Biden. The Carpenters Union love Trump more than Biden. The police union. The point is this, is that the Democrat Party, they are sitting on a house of cards of young activists that truly want to go, like, crush the rich. And there is some truth to that. Like, there's a very rich oligarchy in this country that remains rich and stays rich off of gaming government systems and public policy. Mm. And you guys give them a free pass because you think that we're fascists when in reality we're the ones that are actually fighting to destroy the oligarchy the most all right last question last point yeah. last question um let's say so you do want to fight for the american middle class and that's how, my yes okay that's how, my how 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 does free freer to market like helps with the well, middle again class? i i want i want precision in free markets but i how want, does uh, how does free market support the middle class? Again, I'm not puritanical, but I think that generally more choices are a good thing. I think that generally supporting entrepreneurs is positive. But I, I think that mass immigration is really bad for American workers. There's no mass immigration. Well, well first of all, how many people are... Wow. Um, like... Well, you're right. What, there is mass, mass invasion. But, um, but how, how many people are coming across the southern border every day? Yeah. I don't know, but like, so no, no, it's I'm not actually generally curious. Can you guess? Okay. Um, on what time frame? Every day. Every day? 500? Yeah. It's, it's at its low point, it's at 10,000 right now. It was 15,000 last month. So, what is that annualized? <laughs> Let's play that out. A lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. So that's mass immigration, right? How many green cards do we give out every year? Probably a lot. Yeah, a lot. About yeah. 1.2 million. Well, right? what's wrong with giving out green cards? I'm not saying wrong. No, you okay. said there's no mass migration. So I'm just okay. trying to tell you, we do have mass migration, okay. right? We have 3 million on the southern border, and then we have a million green cards, mm -hmm. right? That's 4 million a year, right? Which is effect basically bigger than most U.S. states. Now, everything comes with a cost. When you have mass migration, you're going to get lower wages. But that means you're going to disenfranchise American workers. What Are you studying computer science? Yeah, I am. Okay, so you're an American born, I'm guessing, American raised? I don't, I don't want to assume. I wasn't, but okay. I moved to the U.S. Okay, well, you're an American now, I guess. I don't know. Maybe yeah, are you I am. Student visa? Okay, you're going to ha now have to compete. Uh, you're kind of proving my point, but that's a separate issue. You're now going to have to compete against foreign labor for your computer science jobs. I think we have a moral obligation to American-born workers to give them preference and priority and restrict the labor supply so that our computer science majors can have higher wages, not to have suppressed wages so some tech CEO can uh, bring in a bunch of Indians and suppress their, no, not against Indians, but just you know, bring down their wages. Personally, I just think that like, if you came to America and then receive a green card, I think you get, you get to work however you want. Like, okay, I, yeah, think, I, I think, think that American-born citizens should be And then there be shouldn't be a priority because they're American citizens. Well, that, that's, as what, long as you're that's where we're different. Citizen. I actually think you must have a priority to your own citizens or else you don't have a government. You have something else. If you don't have a priority to your own people, I don't know what you have. You have a colony, not a country. You're just a big economy. Mm -hmm. and, that, uh, that, and that's fine if that's your position. By the way, your position is held by the ruling elite. Hmm where I think that we should have a country, not just a colony, where the American-born citizens should be given preference over foreigners. Nothing against foreigners, I think they're nice people, but the Americans should be given first preference. And by the way, any sane country believes that. We're like the only country in the world that says, and certain European countries, come on in and take whatever you want. Every moment of this was actually interesting to watch. Uh, the students, I don't know why he don't want to see the clear picture of what Charlie is trying to tell him. I don't know why he's, he's that's something about the left. They just don't want to accept it. They're always triggered. They're always annoyed when they're telling them the truth. They just don't want to accept it. 
and the boy is evidence and all that he's from the left and he just don't accept what Charlie is saying because Charlie is a conservative and Charlie is opening his eye to reality of what is really happening that they are, the left are trying to brainwash him about and I love how Charlie opened his eyes and also opened a lot of students right there their eyes too because a lot of them really do, do not know what's happening in the left and what the media too is also, also trying to like brainwash them about this was beautiful to watch and I, I also learned a lot. And it's, I just found out that a lot of people in the left outside the love box, uh, people are funding, billionaires are funding the left a lot. People, billionaires are promoting this transgenderism. Because I always wonder, like, this transgender of thing, why is it increasing? Why is this still training? Who is always funding it? Now I know where the source is coming from. Like, now I know where the source is coming from. Because if you observe transgenderism, it's always coming from the left. And billionaires are always funding the left. So that's why it keeps on going. It will keep on going on. Um, you, start, you keep on seeing protests because why money is being flooded right there. So this was very interesting to watch and also eye-opening for me too because um, <laughs> Charlie Cock a lot. You guys actually keep on pronouncing his name properly. Um, I love his videos a lot and I love how he keep on opening the left eyes and bringing more awareness to everyone around the world. This is, was a try beautiful to watch and I love every moment of it. I, I dislike when the boy said um, Turning Point US is, is, is a bad company. Let me use the word like that. Turning Point US is making great impact in this world and making changes. So left are always triggered by Turning Point US. I'm not surprised about that. But Turning Point US have actually created a great impact in the world by making every single one of us to see how the left are manipulating the US and giving us more eye opening to what is really happening around the world. This is beautiful to watch and I enjoyed every moment of it. You know how these guys give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to China, guys. We'll see you guys in our next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.